Alright guys, this is the Kyosha Outlaw, Outlaw Rampage body. <clears throat> and I'm still in mid-process of doing this and painting everything. But I wanted to show you guys how much of this is actually not just stencil. Um, this is what a stencil starts off with for me. And uh, you'll, you guys will see what that turns into when I'm done. Um, other style basic stencils uh, will get you that result. But in order to get something like this result, which if I put a white backer back here, hold on a second, sorry about this. You'll actually be able to see it better. Um, after hand painting a bunch of this in, um, this is what you'll end up getting. I um, just wanted to show you guys real quick because I was like, you know, people are going to start thinking these are just stickers slapped on here and that's the end of it. But actually, I'm going to show you that it's not um as you can see in here i don't know how well the lighting's hitting there but that's definitely my that's hand paint it's not uh it hasn't been masked off and painted that was all by hand um and if you look at both sides you'll see the inconsistency which is more than enough proof that uh <laughs> that is definitely hand paint because i'm not perfect i can't get everything to be exact but i can get damn close so, I just figured I'd give everyone a sneak peek, um, go over some of the stuff I've done here, and uh, you guys probably won't see this part of the video until uh, after you see it completed, but I wanted to show you guys that I do actually hand paint um, a lot of this stuff. A lot of the detail stuff I, I do hand paint. Alright, so let me get back to work. This body's taken me about two days so far, pretty much consistently hammering on it. Um, it's been a lot of work here. Uh, hopefully it does reflect. Um, but we're going we're gonna to keep going at it, man. Alright, see you guys in a little bit, and uh, hopefully this guy will be done.
Yeah, I think good enough. Just gonna shoot some weight. We should be all set. Fixing some teeth up and adding some more detail. Uh, light is hard to see, so I'm painting from the inside and looking on the out. Good enough to me, I think. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send it. Peel the protective coating off and the window masks. I am going to hit this one with lacquer. Um, normally, when you heat set this waterproof or the, excuse me, this water-based paint, um, it won't come off. Uh, and uh, especially if enough time has passed where the paint is fully cured and you heat set it, heat set it meaning using a hair dryer or heat gun or something to get it nice and warm. Yeah, literally you'll see the paint kind of transform. It, it almost looks like it rubberizes. Um, but you got to be careful because if you overheat the paint, you can get it to start bubbling and coming off or damage your body. But once it's heat set, usually it doesn't come off. But considering this vehicle, I know I'm going to abuse and um, we're going to run this in weather. I got snow outside now today. So that being said, done this million times before with fast color don't quote me on any other brands because every brand reacts differently but i'm going to seal it with lacquer um i briefly you know maybe in comments have talked to people about this before but literally what i'll do is i'll just spray the inside of this body with uh, some lacquer um not too heavy just dust it let it dry dust it let it dry kind of thing you don't want to get it too heavy where you start softening the paint back up again because remember, we did just paint this body. So once that all fairly dries, not only will the lacquer seal the paint, but also this actually gives a little more strength to this Lexan. Um, it has for me in the past anyway. And uh, so I'm going to go do that. This stuff stinks really bad, so I won't be doing that in the house. I'm going to have to run outside quick, spray it, run back in. Because it's, like I said, it's snowing outside, so it's cold. Um, and once I do that and let this dry uh, with the lacquer... I'll peel the protective coating off, peel the window masks off, and then uh, I can start applying stickers. Um, this body currently does not have one sticker on it, so all that you see here is paint. There are no stickers. All of it's paint. No stickers here, nothing. None of this is stickers. So, just for anyone who's curious, or might assume that there's stickers on here, there's not one sticker yet. But we will be applying some, uh, probably just the uh, stickers that come with the kit. I'm not going to do anything, uh, I'm not going to add any other 
stickers or sponsors or anything along those lines. Uh, literally just going to use what came with this and then we're going to call this one done. Um, besides putting our grill on and who knows what else we'll do from there. Maybe I'll paint up some tires, you know, I'll paint some uh, raised white letters on the tires. Uh, maybe I'll change the rims out. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll add lights. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. But for now, uh, I'm going to move on and get that going. All right, the paint has sealed. I have pulled window masks already. Now I'm going to take the protector coating off, the protector foam on the outside. I figured it's my one of my favorite parts so that you guys might want to see the shine. I love the shine. So we'll peel that real quick. We're going to let this body cure up and sit a little longer before I start handling it too much again. Uh, with stickers and all that good stuff. Uh, normally I don't even peel this protective coating off until I'm ready to do stickers so I don't get handprints all over it, but I can't resist. I want to see it, so I'm going to go ahead and start peeling away. But hopefully, uh, hopefully this shows over the camera well enough. Man. I love that color. It's a pearl charcoal, they call it, um, from Fast Color. And it looks amazing. As soon as I get the rest of this off, I will move the camera around so you can see it better. Wow, I think that came out pretty darn good, actually. I really didn't like the red all that much initially, but now that I've taken that protective coating off, it seems to look a whole lot better. Really, everything really just pops so much more. Um, <clears throat> let's see, the color, yeah, it's Fast Pearl Charcoal, this color here. And that, oh, the color just pops, pops so much to me. I don't know if this camera is going to pick any of this up. My camera is not the best, um, but here standing in front of it, it, it looks, I think it looks pretty good, you know, I dig it, it looks so much better now with that uh, protector coating off, <laughs> but, I don't know how well you guys can see the shine, but, or even the colors, but, Let's see, this is probably not the best angle to be showing you guys this side, but again, try not to handle this body too much. So there it is, guys. So other than stickers, which like I said, we will be using the, the factory stickers to come with it. Uh, I think there's some window trim. Um, the Outlaw Rampage sticker goes on the side here. And, you know, whatever else they have. That's all I'm going to use on this. I'm not going to use anything else. Um, wow, it looks so much better. I can't wait to get the cage in here to see how that looks, too. i got to still assemble the whole cage. It's all still in, in pieces here. Got a little pieces, but... More pieces. Yeah. I don't know. I might I might paint the inside of this cage show, too. I think that would be kind of neat. Red, white, something. And I still gotta do the window, or excuse me, the light buckets, and then uh, the front grill for this. And then we can take her out and see how she does. Um, well, until then, I'll see you guys a little later in this video. It won't be later for me, but it will be shortly for you. So, we're gonna wrap this up for today anyway, and then... Uh, like I said, I'll pick this video back up um, once this sets for a bit, and I'll throw some stickers on and show you guys what that looks like, show you actually sitting on the body. Maybe I'll show you uh, assembling the, the, the cage quick, because I know that I showed you the build, so I might as well show you the cage quick. We'll see what this thing looks like all together, and uh, I don't know. We'll see you from there, guys. Right, that's it. All right, the cage is all attached, all right, in the rear, and look at that, 
Look at, look at that jiggle. It's a jiggle wiggle, right? <laughs> I get it. I'm complaining like a uh, a woman with a deadbeat husband. I get it. I understand. But, uh, I mean, that's... You could have made a cross brace or something to, to keep that uh, a little more solid. But, moving on. Alright guys, she's done. About as far as I'm going to go with it for now. Um, I really want to run some lights on it, but i got to order some. I don't have any right now. Um, but there she is. All the stickers that I'm going to put on are on. I started putting window stickers on and I wasn't real thrilled with them. I didn't like them very much. So I stopped. I figured if I put the side uh, window stickers on that it would just take away from everything else. Um, <clears throat> like I said, the, they're very, very th wide black stickers and I don't know. They didn't look like they were cut very straight, and they were pre-cut. Um, so I decided that I was not going to put those on. And I don't know, something's still twisted in here too. It's so weird. But anyway, I mean, when I get the body clips on, it'll start sitting correctly. But you know, guys, there you go. I decided to uh, paint up the tires too. And uh, put the Rampage stickers on and the KO show and that one there. Alright, the next time you guys see this, um, we should be running it. And uh, we'll see what it can do. And we'll see what it can take. And then uh, we'll go from there and see see where we head with this thing. Um, see how well that trainee holds up. I've heard stories about it. And then uh, if it fails, I've got a plan for that. But until I order a set of lights, I'm going to get a set of lights for here and maybe some lights on the roof and the headlights. And then uh, I was thinking about putting the trophy truck rear lights on back here. But uh, it's kind of a wide span. I don't know how that'll look. And I even thought about making my own and doing making my styrene and this. Uh, setting something up with some LEDs but I don't know we'll see we'll see where we go from here I think this cage back here is actually what's throwing this whole body and everything off something's twisted I'll have to take that out and see what's going on there again it's pre-built so we'll have to see if somebody did something wrong or if it's just the plastics warped or what I don't know I did decide to paint that KO show I think I did talk about that before but anyway um there you go guys uh, I hope you like it and um, we will see you next time um, I think the next time other than running I want to get like I said I'm gonna get a running video 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 of this excuse me and then uh, I think we're going to do the deadbolt since that was second choice. We'll build that up and we'll go over that and see what I have planned for that. And we'll go through the process of that. So, all right. Thanks for, I thank you guys for watching and I uh, hope you liked it. And uh, leave a comment below if you have any questions or have anything to say at all. If you want to say it's, uh, it's garbage, leave a comment down below. Tell me it's garbage. <laughs> Uh, if you like it, leave a comment down below. Let me know you like it. Until the next time, guys, uh, thanks for watching. We'll catch you later. See ya.